back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. I'm Wrecker Rick, and we got ourselves a little recovery. It's a tractor trailer, two blown out tires, and it is buried. So stand by, because it might get western. So we got Freebird up, loaded up, and uh, we're gonna bring this little side by side with us here today, you know, so we don't all have to ride in the seven ton. We'll load Freebird on top of the seven ton, take it out there. We got our one of our off-road service trucks. It's gonna be a good day, folks. So got Hot Rod here, my main man. What's going on? AKA Throck. AKA Kevin Bacon from Trimmers. I can ask about that. Here comes Heavy T right now. Mix a truck trig. Back it in. Back it in. That's our new shed right there on the horizon. Hey, De Niro, go ahead and pull it forward some. We're in business, folks. All loaded up. Finally, I had to do everything myself. <laughs> what was that? Did he already top everything off? Uh, I don't know. Looks like that's what he's doing. What was the diagnosis with Black Betty? Clutch. He's got clutch and three rollers on the track. Let me tell you something about Ruby tracks, folks. They stand by their warranty. Even if you drive them through some rocks. Even if you use them for things you're not supposed to. So take that to the bank. Uh, top her off a premium. It's a high performance machine you got there. Raw. Mix your truck tray. Well, folks, we got the driver, and uh, we're we are westbound on I-40, heading out here. We got about a few more miles to go till we hit the mother road. We were just on the mother road, and I forgot we we're taking the mother road. So I got to get off of I-40 again, get back on the mother road. So man, get your shit together, wreck or Rick. Yeah, I do. This is what is it? We're going like, off-road recovery. 
recovery. Where do, where do you think it's at? Um, on the mother road somewhere. Hyde Park. Hyde Park. Hyde Park. I've never heard of it. Hyde Park. Hyde Park. I don't know what this old boy is doing. He's loaded with concrete barrier, so. Really? So that'll be a good one. That'll be a real fun time. Hopefully we can get her. You think we'll be able to get it? We never not. Uh, we never, we never not. We never not get it. We never not get her. How about Sligman, folks? She sure is beautiful this time of year. You got any history on Sligman? Sure is beautiful this time of year out here in Sligman. Uh, I got a little piece of history for you about Sligman. My grandma was born here in 1907. Why'd she come here? Why? Yeah. She's an immigrant. From where? Mexico. Oh. Are they behind us? They probably didn't. Turn these emergency lights on so they see us. Oh, there they are. And there they go. Oh my god. Hello? Mixer truck trig. Hello? Mixer truck trig. You just passed us. I know. What's the next exit? Like 20 miles down the road? No, it's not. The next exit? It's a 114. Turn around in the middle of it? Yeah. Alright. What were you thinking, Mixer Truck Trade? I didn't know where I was going. Just not used to driving a real truck. Still. Still got that mixer you didn't truck. Tell us where to go. Still got that mixer truck attitude, don't you? No. All right. Yeah. Sorry, we almost missed the turn too. All right. I guess. I guess we're done talking. Kids these days, you know, can't live with them, can't shoot them. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. What we're dealing with here is a complete lack of respect for the law. There she is, folks. We're headed down to Radiator Springs. The home of Tomator. Welcome to the Mother Road, folks. Old Route 66. A little trip down old memory lane for you folks. Boy, let me tell you, in its heyday, you should have seen it. It was something to see, folks. I'll tell you what. Back there in that pocket right there on that rim, I found an ore car. So down that rim, I've always wanted to go winch it out of there. It's like 300 yards down the rim. Is there tracks over there? Or it used to be? There's a gold mine over there. Some type of mine. I don't know if it's a gold mine. Back before your time, Sonny.
truck off. Tate, you grab the service truck. And Tragen, uh, grab the 710. Tate, you could drive it back. Am I taking that dude? You guys could swap on the way back. Huh? Do you want that dude in the 710? I'll probably have him <laughs> load up in the 710. Right? No. No, because you don't want him to hurt himself getting in it. So help him into the service truck. Help him into it? Remember, Freebird ain't strutting down, Tag. If he needs help. All right. Yeah, you better help him. This video is brought to you by Polaris, folks. Just kidding. But it could be. But it could be Polaris. No. You know, you guys give me a one of these new. Uh, what are these things called? Ranger. Four wheeler. Cargo. Cargo wheeler. Crew cab Ranger. Crew cab four wheeler. Y'all get me one of these new crew cab four wheeler Rangers. This video could be brought to you by Polaris. So. You might want to think about that, Polaris. Long and hard. What we're doing here, folks, is uh, we're just scouting her out. Before we drag all this crap in here, we're gonna go check it out. I got the boys heading this way. It's a long trek in here. I don't know how far it is. I think about probably around 10 miles, something like that. But the last few times we've done this, we kind of learned our lesson, folks. So. Now what we're doing is we're bringing this old crew cab four-wheeler in here. Go scout it because boy, it really cruises. Um, stand by. Gotta try this good Arizona sunrise. Yeah, it sure is beautiful. The sunrises are beautiful this time of year. This good old hot rod sunrise. Yeah, it's gonna be dark by the time we get to them. We don't have any light. No lights again. Hopefully there's uh, at least one big one. At least we brought water this time. <laughs> yeah. No sir. Looks like I seen tracks right there. Like duels went this way, truck tires. Same right here, though, too. Really? Look at the edge. You know, look at all the pod tracks all over the road right here. And here he is cruising down the trail in a step deck, fully loaded, you know, 40,000 pounds on the deck. Crazy oh, yeah, deck. <laughs> we're on the We're on the right path, folks. We found some trees, damaged road, tree, oh yeah, more trees. I think we've got it, folks. We're on the scent, we're on the trail. There's more trees over here, trees over there. That's all I'm talking about. Ah, uh, right through here. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> he said screw it. Yeah, he just went up, bro. Look at deer, look at all them deer. Looks like semi trailers. Surely he didn't go over those culverts. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's more right here. Boy, he has been all over this. Boy, I'd like to hear his story. Maybe we should have asked him. I wish he would have rode with us. Just down the road. Well, folks, we've gone 10 miles and no sign of a semi yet. So, tractor trailer. Uh, there's a tractor. 
tracks. We're still on the trail though. He's like, you know what? I think I'm gonna take my step deck deer hunting this year. Yeah, he's riding over the side right there. This is probably where he's got his tires. Look, he ran over the edge right there. Almost just like New Mexico. This is almost just like New Mexico, folks. Like, I mean, the setting is almost identical. He knocked out two tires. He's going down through these little cuts and canyons. And it's several miles further already than where they said it was. What are the odds, huh? Every state. Hopefully that guy knows where he's at with tape. I think this might be a little worse than New Mexico, folks. <laughs> I mean, so far there's no sign of a tractor. And I mean, you know, we go through really bad portions of the road and then it gets good like this portion. And then we go through really bad, so like, and then the pictures I seen, where he's at, like the road is like a trail, like a goat trail. So, I feel like we have to go a long ways for this road to dwindle down to a goat trail. Having to drive that 710 all the way in here. We really need to put some doors on it for it gets any colder. Yeah. If he drives that back tonight, it's gonna be hate life. We'll have to take turns, I guess. At least it has a windshield in it. And a heater. Dreading it more and more the deeper we go. Oh, I bet you they're not even half as far as I've been cruising at like 35, 30, uh, 25 to 35. I told them that. I said, I hope you don't have plans tonight. We're probably gonna be out here until 2 a.m. And they're like, Yeah, I have plans tonight. Both of them have plans. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah. like, well, you better cancel them. You run into that creek, look at. Oh yeah. Look at the rubber on the tree. Yeah, but that's what probably bucked out his tire. And on that rock. Jesus. Imagine if you went through all this and kept going, wherever he's at right now has to be somewhere stuck good. There's no way I'd come this far with that truck and just quit. Did he continue? Oh, no, I see it. He went straight. Now, this is like, this must be what it's like living in Australia, huh? You drive for two days and you still haven't got anywhere on dirt road. Look at, oh, he dang near lost it in that culvert. Look at it, he almost lost it in there. Look at it. Tracks went right through there. Boy, that was a close one, folks. Hopefully he's in something worse than that. I'm sure this camera is not doing this rocky road justice like usual, but folks, Believe me when I tell you this, this road is a piece of <laughs> Finally found her folks, right on the cusp of darkness. There's a Cascadia.
that concrete? Yeah. All right, folks, so we found it, and he has gotten himself turned around. So he's headed the right direction, so we don't have to turn around. Luckily for us, that's usually a big, big issue. So, is get him turned around, you know, not only getting him unstuck, but also getting him turned around. So we don't have to turn around, but, uh, boy, this thing is lodged in here. This is a pretty big little, little creek right here so yeah he's he's buried on his dot bar i mean this is a hole we're standing in right here i mean it's off the ground He's down in this old wash right here. Try to go up the other side. I mean, it's so steep that his trailer's hitting his catwalk. And I mean, he's trying to go up some little rock ledges right here. A pretty nice Cascadia. Well, I mean, I don't think there's such thing as a pretty nice Cascadia, but I mean, it's a new Cascadia. Loaded with uh, 36,000 slab of concrete here. Looks like, like a railroad trestle or something. Lost another wheel. We got some light, huh? Pretty dope. All right, yeah. what are you thinking? Yeah, that's for video purposes, it would be nice to do in the morning to get all of it going out in the light. I feel like watching this truck go through all those, that was really hairy areas would really do it justice to see how bad it actually is. Compared at night, just like the last recovery, it didn't look, you can barely, but it just depends. Yeah, we can do it and uh, we could bring the equipment out, park it right here and do it in the do it in the daylight first thing in the morning. Uh oh. So we just met a couple old gals that said this old boy went all the way to their house, which is five miles further than this, and and he turned around up there and he's on his way back out. Uh but they just, they said they're going to meet the tow truck driver. I said, well, 
you're looking at him and she said well i just got a call from the tow truck driver said he's lost and it, it, it's got to be heavy t is lost and he can't get a hold of us because because we ain't got no service we ain't had service she must have service up at her house or something but we're gonna run back and grab a heavy t and get him in here this may be a recovery we hold off until tomorrow on because it's pretty bad folks so stand by well we finally found him folks where you been Truck Trey finally did it in. It's not our fault. Blew a tire out, folks, so we're gonna have to go get a tire and bring it back out. Boy, this is turning into a real show. this truck a little closer get the skid steer down there and then we'll just come back in the morning and do it bring a tire I just don't want to well, I don't think so but... I live my life a quarter mile at a time all right so we made it back out to the slide axle folks and we didn't want to keep pushing the seven ton and blow the other tire so uh, we phoned the yard back at in ash fork we got our chopper in there they're bringing us the tire as we speak so rest assured folks we will get that tire back on that seven ton as soon as the chopper gets here so no i'm just kidding actually we're calling it a night we're gonna go back and get our tire our spare and we're gonna be back out here in the morning so all right folks we're back at it we got our seven ton tire we're headed out there we're gonna unload this old dog right here and uh, we're going to go throw the tire on the 7 ton and then we're going to pull this bad Jackson out so stand by so it just might get western got myself a cup official company cup so <coughs> so let's let's do it folks let's go get her out huh it was raining on us up uh, up on the mountain this morning. <clears throat> Luckily, it's not raining down here because, boy, it's 
would have turned into a real recovery if it would have been raining. So it's cute if he thinks he's driving that. Yeah. It is so All right, fun. let's get her unloaded. Kick that PTO in. Huh? Oh. It's really cold. And we had lights and 
radios and if we were a well oiled machine I don't think I'd be working here because if I was working here it would not be a well oiled machine. <laughs> You'd be fired. <laughs> There's a storm rolling in folks. I can smell it. I can smell the recoveries in the air. I know what y'all are thinking. We blew that tire out. That blowing that tire was staged. It's fake. We did it for content. He made it through here and then went up and turned around and come back to it. Didn't make it the second time. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go for it. her fired up. He's gonna give her a shot. He's like, I don't need these guys. It's gotten lost like three times. No more slack. Okay. Don't tighten it up. Drag it, don't tighten it up. Oh. Bit of a control freak, folks. <laughs> Destroying the steel in the back of it, so we had to go take a little bit different 
tactic here. I mean, putting a lot of pressure on it with that with old Freebird. Freebird just wanted to eat. So we're gonna try something a little bit different. I mean, most rigging would just destroy itself on that steel back there. That's why we use Bailey's. All right, let me see that soft shackle. So what we need to do is we need to pull this trailer over that way, and then we'll pull the truck up the hill. Because if we don't pull it over, there's a huge drop off right there that's really gonna hang this DOT bar. Could probably rip it off. And we don't like to destroy people's gear. Even when we do have an audience, folks. They're probably thinking, like, oh my god, are they gonna get it? Like, what are they doing? Just drive it out. Just let the tire pressure down and drive it out. Yeah, let the tire pressure out. Well, he already tried that. <laughs> One, two of them, anyhow. Tell, tell Tragen to tell Hot Rod to come here. Tragen back up just a little bit and hit it just a little bit. Not like crazy, just a little tug. And if it does, and if it looks like it's not moving, then have him do it just a little harder. No? 
get you more that way and pull that way at the same time. Tell them to stop. I'm going to re redo your rigging. Tell them to stop. I'm going to redo your rigging. All right, tell Tragen to pull. Pull, Tate. Pull. Get in his truck and drive it. We're not getting a pull. Let it off. Okay, we're gonna roll forward just a little bit like last time until it starts coming this way. Okay?
See if the airlines reach. Change those tires out. I guess we could go a little higher and go up a little bit more and then we could change those tires. Yeah, there's no way it's coming off of off of this right here. I mean look at that some buck. The trailer ain't here enough. That's part of the problem. I mean, obviously, even if the air trailer did air up, that I mean, I mean that DOT bar might drag, not drag so so bad. Have Tragen, Tragen back up a little bit. See if we get this service truck right here. We should be able to. And while it's in the air, change these tires. What? And then while it's in the air, we'll change these tires. Red paint from his DOT bar on the way in. off-road tire service now too look at that brand new rim bam you know the good stuff huh what are you doing Treg figure we knock these tires out while it's up in the air real quick make it easier than having to jack her up Are you sure? Sparkling yeah. water, Tubo Chico. You want one? Oh. Here. Is it water? Yeah, it's actual water. It's oh, cool. Sparkling one. I'll take one. All right, here, you want another one? It's going to be a long show. Well, <laughs> this is actually very interesting. Yeah, you should have brought some popcorn. Yeah. I have some at home. You want me to go get it? <laughs> no, it's a, I was say, I bet you don't see this often coming through here, huh? I was surprised to see the truck at the bottom of my hill. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know how he got in here. We didn't know he was this far back. We were like, we kept driving. And we we're like, surely he's not this. Like, he didn't go through all this. And we just kept driving and driving. And he was all the way up by that, by the bottom of the hill where that tower is. The really? Red, red flashing light is. Yeah, we're what? I, I don't know how in the world he got up there. Apparently, he was trying to go to Kingman. He kept telling me <laughs> I-40. Really? And I said, no, there's no way to get to I-40. You have to go back out yeah and are you the ones are you guys are you found him or is it the, yeah we found him at oh, the bottom well. of our hill really? and see if he needed anything made some phone calls tried to get his boss involved in this and let somebody know that he's he's stuck <laughs> yeah he's way out here his phone wouldn't work or anything <laughs> it was kind of funny yeah have you guys ever done anything this Oh, yeah. But with this much stuff? We just did one like three weeks ago in New Mexico. The exact same scenario. So you go everywhere? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost when we were driving out here, we are like, this is just like New Mexico again. You know, and he was down. He was uh, he was delivering. The only difference is that guy was... Let me open that for you. The only difference is that guy was... Uh, Sorry if you don't want that. Uh, the only difference was that the guy, the other guy was, he didn't speak English either, but he was delivering to a ranch and he passed the headquarters of the ranch and went like 15 miles further and just kept going. <laughs> like, why, why did you stop? 
Yeah. And he even asked somebody. Like any he point, was a guy. Stop. Guys don't like to stop and get directions. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he even went through two it's gates, right. too. He yeah. got out and opened two gates, too, and kept going through gates. And... Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. The other guy opened two gates. Yeah. GPS. Yeah. They follow their GPS until they don't have service anymore. And then... I don't know. When you start getting off the off the pavement, you know that something's wrong, unless you're delivering out yeah. that way. Right. But I mean, you know, with being from a different country, you don't yeah. know how things are in the country. Yeah. But yeah. well, we were just talking about that too on the way out. We're like, well, I mean, like, how is it? And I think he's from Yugoslavia or something. And like, how is it over there? I mean, surely their trucks aren't any better. They're they're not. Surely it's a sad, I mean, I know I wouldn't go to, to you know, um, a foreign country and, and drive a truck and be like, oh, this must be the way they do it around here. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom At of our hill, it was, it was <laughs> 2, it was 2.30 in the afternoon. Really? Yeah. And he ended yes. up. Was it day before yesterday? Yes. Yes. He slept in his truck at the bottom of our hill that night. And he's told me that he had food and water and everything. Because we needed. asked him. I said, it's going to get cold. And he said, he had a heater. I mean, you know, trying to get all this stuff translated or, you know, yeah. understood you know, on both parties, you know, it's kind of hard. And, and then, then we started, I was following the tracks and this is the way he came in. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was like, we're like, how did he get out here? How oh. in the heck? Up there, this guy, this fellow's fence right here, he tore the fence down up there on the corner. See, we don't that. drive this way. We we have access through the gates. We do not go. This well, has been a mess. That's, a, that's been, been a mess, a mess for since years. Since the culverts washed out. Oh, yeah. 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 So is this your company or yes, you just work for it? Yeah. Okay. It, ought to be a, it ought to be a good one. I mean, as crazy as people are these days. Yeah, that's it. So me and, me and Hot Rod and... Uh, these guys right here, that's all we do. Uh, my other guys do all the highway stuff. Uh -huh. So we have really big racks on the highway, so my little racks on the highway. And we have three locations, uh, Ashford, Flagstaff, and Holbrook. Okay. And we just go around and do the off-road stuff. And yeah, we stay, stay so very ha busy. So have you seen something as crazy as this? Last, yeah. last week in New Mexico. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What part of New Mexico? Yeah, up on the Zuni Indian Reservation. Okay. Uh, the coordinates he gave us, yeah, they're, I mean, how far is the pump house from here? The pump house is uh, probably about 13 miles, maybe. God, dang, yeah. And so, uh, and they're like, yeah, he's like six six or seven miles off road. And uh, no, no, we told them 23. I mean, yeah. We, yeah. We, we gave explicit I said it, instructions. It's six miles, approximately six miles to. On, on Hyde Park to Denny 5. Yeah. And then approximately another six miles to pump Denny 5 to Pump House. Yeah. And then it's pretty much no direction. You just have to try to stay on the main road. Oh, that little guy. That's why I don't run duels off road, folks. Let's go. There you go. All right, we got the tires on it. Got the old ones off. We're gonna rig the skid steer and then drag this sucker up the hill. Should be home free.
Do you see where this truck is from? What? Do you see where this truck is from? Your boy Ron Pratt, that's where he lives. Where? Stratford, Missouri. Oh yeah. Ron Pratt, come get your boy. <laughs> um, clean this up a little bit. I mean, don't have to be perfect. Clean it up and then we're gonna start slow rolling that way. So We'll meet you at the T880. What are we doing with this? You're gonna bring it when you're done cleaning this up. All the way out? No, well, we'll be up the road waiting for you when we find a spot. So Trey's gonna drive seven ton. He's gonna drive the service truck. You're gonna drive this, I'll drive that. find a spot up the road right there somewhere to throw it in. I just want to use, make sure we have this off for like, you know, just quarter mile right here, half mile, in case we need to use it to get them around up here for some tight turns. We can bring a chainsaw. So. down now. Alright, actually tilt it up, back up. Stop, 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 stop. Tilt your bucket down. Alright, that's good. The kids here is making you light in the front end, it's not wanting to turn. Plus you get your all walked in, so. All right, there you go. Go ahead, get after it. We did it folks now it's the 23 mile trek out of here you heard that young lady back there she said it was 23 miles in here find it ah. <coughs> looking for a camera like usual
got it barely. Yeah, he's like three inches.
narrow the air traffic controlman out here. Direct like you're one of those air traffic controlman guys. Get into it. Really get into it. Boy, I'll tell you. How about these two? What'd y'all unload everything for? We got another upper recovery. Why would you take them with you? Why would you guys unload everything? Huh? Why would you all unload everything? We got a wrecked F-150 2010 we gotta go get. Huh? San Carlos Indian Reservation? What's he doing? Trying to find his truck keys. Huh? Trying to find his truck keys. De Niro's looking for his keys and I've had him the whole time. <laughs> huh? Do you actually? <laughs> well folks, Turned out to be a pretty day after all. I thought it was good. It was hot. Huh? Hot. It was hot today. You're hot? It was earlier. Oh. It looks like your face is like windburn. Were you getting windburn? Yeah. Driving that 710? Yeah. So if you could change anything about today, what would it be, Mixer Truck Trig? <laughs> that. <laughs> huh? Being called Mixer Truck Trig. No. Oh. Well, you can't outrun your past. <laughs> what, would it, what would it be, heavy tea? Not blowing our own tire. Huh? Not blowing our own tire. Not blowing that tire? Yeah. Yeah, that did suck. For me, I'd say waking up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I can't believe you freaking, like, you're exhausted. I'm not exhausted. Yeah, you are. You can barely keep your eyes open. My eyes are wide open. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, they are. Barely open. Well, you have me get they're up at the crack open. of dawn. Hey, De Niro, would you change anything about today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> De, Niro's, De Niro lost his keys. And he is not a happy camper, let me tell you. Went real well. Just as we expected. You know, except for blowing the tire. Uh, the air inflation system. We got to work on the air inflation system see why it's not inflating. Normally that truck airs all the tires up and we're good to go, but uh, yeah, we got a little work to do. We need to, we need to get uh, our off-road service truck up to par and you know, the old 55 welding rig. I've been slacking on that truck. You know, I'm thinking that might be what's next after Hellboy is a 5,500 build. I don't know, either that or build a wrecker out of the seven ton. You know, something cool. <laughs> Nothing like a good old YouTube <clears throat> to keep a guy from losing his cool. Just a second ago, he was just flay laying around on the ground, throwing a fit, cussing all of us like dogs, calling us everybody, everything but a white man. And now he's all just cool as a cucumber over there. Like his fuse is getting smaller. Well, folks, we're on to the next one. You know, just waiting for that one recovery that we never recover from. That all of our equipment gets destroyed. Used a classy Cascadia driver, followed his GPS for 12 miles, and then lost signal, and then took a right on the Denny 5, and then took a left, took another right on the Pump House Road, and then took a left down a canyon, and then took another left across somebody's private property, and then took a right down over a creek, went through the creek, went up, turned around, came back out, got stuck in the creek that he'd already passed through. He just flushed out the window. 
What are you talking about? Those keys? Huh? These keys that I had? Yeah, whose keys are they? I don't know. I found them in the side by side. Where? I don't know whose they are. Do you know anyone that drives a Toyota? Yeah, me. Right. Well, let me know if you know anybody that drives a Toyota is missing some keys, because I'll i hold on to them. Alright, sounds good. Alright, I'll see ya. <laughs> he thought we had his keys, we just jingled them out a little bit. Get all pissed off, raced by us, hanging out the window, flipped us off. <sighs> yes, folks, this is what you're dealing with off of YouTube, off of YouTube. So, uh, yeah. don't believe him. Don't believe him, folks. He's a man of many faces. He puts on a show for y'all.